that message. Use appropriate transitions when moving from one idea to another. Create a strong opening and conclusion. Time, five to seven minutes. Thank you. Sergei Kuzin, American Manners. American Manners, Sergei Kuzin. Have you ever taken big risks in your life? Have you ever traveled far away abroad with a penny in your pocket? <laughs> Have you ever jumped with a parachute? Did you ever happen to be severely beaten up after your speech? <laughs> <laughs> no? If not, prepare, take down your copy books and the pants because I'm going to tell you how to get this wonderful experience. <laughs> I will tell you how to do this, because indeed, the best way to do that is to come to another country, meet the local people and tell them, looking straight in their eyes, what their national manners are all about. Indeed, this is exactly the thing I'm going to do tonight. Looking exactly straight into your eyes, I'm going to tell you what American manners are all about being only less than three months in this country and standing in front of an audience full of Americans. <laughs> <laughs> so, the best way to do that is to tell the people about their manners. But to avoid actually to be severely beaten up after my speech, I will <laughs> avoid telling you what's wrong about the American okay. manners. I will only tell you three facts and you decide for yourself. Fact number one. I remember myself going upstairs in a city library a couple of weeks ago and a man was going downstairs and passing by me and uh, just all out of a sudden he said, oops, sorry. He was five feet away from me. Um, he didn't touch me. He didn't even look at me. But he said, oops, sorry. <laughs> and he said it loudly meaning that he was not talking to himself and there was nobody around that <laughs> meaning that he said it to me <laughs> and I noticed that he was not the only one person in this country who behaves like that and based on this experience I figured out that oops sorry is not a phrase it is not a word it is not even oftentimes a way to apologize it is an automatic function that is built in just like a small microchip in every American brain in early childhood. So, and this small microchip is easily activated almost in any situation in the country in your life. And it is on high alert 24 hours a day. So let us call this manner, oops, sorry, manner. And let's consider fact number two. Last week uh, we had a break in our university class and uh, as usually many students decided to go to a restroom, including myself, and there was a professor who also had a call of nature and followed us. He was uh, seriously older than all the students, he was a distinguished professor, had a higher status, but he didn't seem to make any difference between himself and us, the students. So he went to the same room. To the, to the same restroom and he actually uh, chose the urinate next to the student and more while using the urinate he was actually looking at the student and talking to him about the class they have just had unimaginable <laughs> <laughs> unimaginable and let us call this manner peace together man. <laughs> Let's consider fact number three, ladies and gentlemen. You probably know that uh, there are at least 28,000 people below the age of 25 in the city. And uh, that said, you will really, really, really see couples making out on the streets, like they always do in London or in Moscow downtown. But consider this story. I was going back Friday night 
uh, last Friday night from a formal meeting and was actually wearing a smart suit and came across, was unhappy enough to come across a crowd of college girls going to a party. One of the college girls was aroused, literally speaking, so much at my smart suit that she started screaming and jumped at me and I was wondering if I could, could get rid of it because the girl was big. <laughs> I was going to call my wife for help, but she was in Russia, 6,000 miles away. So I had to cope with this American girl manner myself. <laughs> Let's call this manner um, free love manner. <laughs> and let's go, let's go down to a couple of uh, final remarks. Uh, since I discovered these American manners, I was wondering what Americans themselves would say if I asked them just three questions. Do you like to live in a country where the oops sorry function is built in the brands of people and where it is used almost as often as basic instincts? <laughs> Do you like to live in a country where even the most distinguished, highly reputable professors maintain highly <laughs> informal manner of piecing together? <laughs> Do you like to live in a place where there are thousands of girls behaving prudently during the day and unleashing their free love manners every Friday night? Now I feel, dear ladies and gentlemen, that I have avoided being severely beaten up today. <laughs> because if you say, yes, I like, I agree with you. Yes, I like, oops, sorry. Yes, I like peace together. And yes, of course, I like girls behaving so prudently during the day. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>